Hello. So I always want to make your Google Sheets much more visually pleasing. You might want to make your Google Sheets very visually pleasing. If you're using at all links to YouTube videos, sometimes we can add actual thumbnails to your sheets using only the YouTube thumbnail, or sorry, the YouTube URL of a video. So how do we do this? Right here, you can see actually URL to one of my own YouTube videos, youtube.com slash better sheets. You're watching this video here, or, or you might be watching this on bettersheets.go. Either one, go check out the YouTube channel, <laughs> wherever you are. And here we have an equals image. That is the simple thing, is we're gonna use image formula. We're going to add the URL, this i3.ytimg.com, vi slash, and here is the ID of the YouTube video. And then we're going to have HQ default. We also have max res default. But I'm going to show you how to construct this sort of sort of programmatically, sort of automatically. We're going to hack through this. So this is the end result. We're going to be able to enter a YouTube URL and get out of it or be able to display an image of the sh So let's first get just the ID. We only need the ID of the URL. What we're going to do is we're going to take this URL and we're just going to strip away this YouTube stuff. So we're, we can do this in a number of ways. Let's use substitute for this. We're gonna search a one. We're gonna search for YouTube and we're gonna replace it with literally nothing, just two quotes and there we go. We get the entire ID alone. That's all we need. Now, this is gonna work only because we are using this entire HTTPS, www.youtube.com, watch, V equals. There may be some other ways, some more Mm, sort of systemic ways, no matter what the format of this URL might be, because there might be that two, two dot be kind of formatting. So we could do something like this as well. Let's put it down here. We could split, could split this text just by the equal sign. Now what's going to happen is we're going to get two things, right? We're going to get the beginning of this URL, and then we're going to get ID. We can wrap this with index and do we want the first row? No, yeah, we want the first row and the second column, number two here. That's because it's a one, one row by two column split, especially if we're just using this equal sign. There we go. And let's see, there might be another way to do a URL. Yeah, here, this is the other way to do the URL with this .be slash ID. If you're using like a lot of your own links, this is a shared URL a lot of times. So in this case, we could, if we know it's gonna be this YouTube.b, we can do equals substitute text to search a three, comma, search for this and replace with just two quotes. There we go, we got that as well. If we don't know which one it's going to be, maybe we search for like this YouTube, something like find search for, maybe find will work. Text to search here, starting at zero. Let's see what that shows up. It has value greater than one, I think there. So it gives us a number if, let's see, if this didn't exist, let's see what we get. We would get an error, an error. So if it doesn't exist in the find here, we're gonna get an error, cannot find this thing. So maybe we wrap this with if, error or if yeah we can just do if error and if there's an error then just do this other one right take this and put this here so if there's an error we're just going to get this so we're going to do that 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 and if there's no error we get this so maybe we oh we're going to get a nine so let's take all of this and instead of the nine instead of find here we go if this is a but zero. Um, that's true. We're going to use that substitute. If false, don't think we need anything because we have this if error instead of B3. There you go. So now, no matter if it's one of these two sort of formats, it, this will work and we're just going to get the ID. Great. We get it. If there's an error on this YouTube, if it has this U2.be, we're sort of safe, right? And now that we have the ID, we can grab an image of this, but let's look at what this is. Let's delete this column first. Okay, this is the URL that we're gonna use, and we're only gonna substitute this, this ID in the middle. What we could do, right, the, the sort of most basic thing we can do is equals and put this all in quotes, take out the ID in the middle and put in quotes to ampersands, and then put B1 there. 
and we get a URL. What we might want to do is actually put this entire formula inside of where this is B1, and we get this URL with the ID and everything. And, and this URL is i3.ytimg.com. I wonder if this shows up anything. can be reached. It is a way for YouTube images to exist. And if the YouTube images exist, it'll show up there. A little hand wavy, I know, but I'm not <laughs> going into that right now. All we have to do is wrap this with image. And that is the only thing we need to do. And then we have the image. We can make the row a little bit bigger. And there we go. We have now... Anytime we have a URL, we can have the URL and we can have an image of the thumbnail. But the thing is, with this thumbnail, we might want, say, max res default.jpg. This doesn't have those black bars, I do not think. This is high quality default. Max res. Yeah, there we go. So this one is the one without, in this particular case, without those black bars. We'll just do this. Let's move my face a little. Got to get in there. There we go. There we go. Now we have a really cool image to go along with any YouTube video that we might have in a Google Sheet. Again, this – let me explain maybe some of the use cases of this, right? If you're working with YouTube videos, if you're trying to present those, if you're doing any kind of market research and you're putting it all in a Google Sheet and you're expecting people to look through this, a thumbnail might be able to tell – more information than just copy and paste, just copy and paste in the URL and the title. You might want to just also put a thumbnail. Gives a little bit more information. Great for influencer marketing agencies, right? This is something I did very often when I was building models for influencer marketing campaigns for a couple of years. We would put in thumbnails. We would put in your the images of channels. Those also have a really good simple URL, and it just makes the data sort of shine, especially around influencer marketing campaigns, whenever you're doing market research around a certain topic or something, all of the thumbnails are relatively going to be like similar. And it's going to give a sort of sheen and a branding to the data when truly and honestly, all the time we are living in a black and white and aerial world inside of Google Sheets. So it helps add a little bit of the flavor of whatever you're researching here. On the other side of use cases in if you're doing some data research, it's great. But also if you're trying to present, say, a lead magnet and you have, for instance, I've tried to put together sort of lists of my own videos that are free and available, but I also want to add in other people's YouTube videos. So I want to have an authoritative list of, say, the best videos on some particular function. I want to include other people's videos that I don't didn't make but are free and available for people on YouTube. And adding this kind of thumbnail shows people which videos are separate than mine. And here's like another use case. If you are literally doing YouTube research to make YouTube videos like I have in the past and you're looking at 5, 10, 20 videos that are all similar and you're ca capturing all of the URLs and saying, okay, I want to make this particular kind of video, you can drop in this thumbnail and then it can give you a very clear idea of what kind of thumbnail do I have to make that fits in with all of these that actually – or stands out? It could be one or the other. You might want to fit in or you might want to stand out and be completely different, right? Instead of a white background, you want to have a green background. Instead of a face, you want to have the image of a thing. Instead of, say, only the after state, you want to have a before and after, right? Or you can see, oh, all of these types of videos have this particular type of iconography in them. So having the visuals – next to each other is perfect for this. This might be even great for like flashcards or some kind of like A-B testing. You're, maybe you're trying to find out, you know, without having to make thumbnails in the, immediately, you're like, what kind of thumbnail should I do? You can throw into a Google, a Google Sheet these two videos, look at those two images, take a screenshot, and then t ask people which one would you click, right? Super simple, quick. And again, you could probably download the you could probably download the thumbnail, put it in a Canva, sure. But if you just grab the URL, pop it in there, take a screenshot, and you're done, right? A couple steps less. Some weird use cases for this, but I hope this was very helpful to you to see we're using if ever we're using – what else are we using? We're using split at some points, find, substitute, some weird sort of maybe uses of this and maybe you found out some really cool use case for these formulas. So you liked adding YouTube thumbnails to Google Sheets? Check out this video. I add company logos to a Google Sheet. You might enjoy that one too. And always join bettersheets.co as a member to get full access to 
all videos, all the time, all templates, all tutorials, every tool, every script, everything is available at bettersheets.co.